Good day friends, Maloa here and today I'm going to show you how to set up the kill order for the Prime UI. Let's go. The first thing that we want to do is open up Prime UI. Go to options. And what you're going to do is you're going to go down to notes windows. And you will see that I've already got some notes here, Hidden Horde Tier 2 and Hidden Horde Tier 3. This text that you see here on the right hand side, I will be including links to those text files in the description below. So be sure to go look at the description below to get these files. What you want to do is you want to open them up, you want to save it as a TXT file to your desktop so that you can load it back in. And then what you're going to do is you're going to open up the text file. You will highlight everything with hitting Control A, then do Control C to copy it. And then what I want you to do is you're going to create a note. You're going to label it. Let's just say HOA test and click add. Grab all of this content. Okay, copy it and paste it in your test file here. All right. And then what you got to make sure to do is you, if you, in order to activate it, you have to make sure that every time you log in and you know which tier you're going to do, you're going to come hit set note. Because the order of ads between tier 2 and tier 3 is different, right? The quantity and maybe the order in which you kill them. After you've updated the note to prime, you want to go to Prime UI. If you followed my previous Prime plugin video, you would have known that I seen how I had updated the Hidden Horde UI. If you do not have this, you can just click New, type Hidden Horde, and then just follow along the steps. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click on Hidden Horde UI, then click on Add UI Element, and go down to Node Event. Make sure you scroll all the way down to the bottom to get to note event and then click on triggers. What you want to do is you want to now set up the trigger that is going to launch the kill order window for you. And the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to do the um, the pulls between the bosses. So you want to do that by clicking on party chat. The first phrase that you're looking for is called beginning ads. So you just type that in and then you do the exact same thing for your note event trigger. I have this handy dandy notepad that I've already worked up. I will be including this in the description below. So if you're looking for the exact wording that I use, then please go ahead and download this file so that you can do the setup properly. And then after that, you would just hit add and that would create it for you here. Then do the next one. So you would open up your file again, then do outside ads and paste that in here. These, by the way, beginning ads, outside ads, these match exactly what you have here. Beginning ads, um, outside ads. So you've got to make sure that it is 100% identical or it won't work. This is the number one thing you have to troubleshoot if it is not working. Okay, coming back to Prime. And you would continue to do that for all of the party chat ones. Then the next trigger are the ones that are actually say events. This is very useful for when you're in the boss fights because the boss is usually going to have something that is said that will then trigger the ads to spawn. Once again, I have a notepad with the exact wording that the boss says, the phrasers, and then how it relates back to the event triggers that is in your notes. And um, you add it the exact same way. So the first one we will do is kill them. And I'm just going to copy and paste that exactly the way it is. And this just has to be unique phrases. It doesn't have to be the entire phrase, but it has to be unique. And then you copy the trigger event and paste the trigger event there and then just click add 
and that's it. And you do that repeatedly for all of the say events so that all of the proper um, kill order lists will auto-generate. So for the boss fights, you need that they will auto-generate based off what the boss is saying. But here in the ads, uh, you know, between the bosses, there aren't any phrases that are being said. So you have to manually type that in. For example, what you want to do is click here in the chat box and then just type beginning ads and that'll spawn the kill order list for you. And as you start to kill these targets, they will disappear from your list. To change it, you would just click type in the next command and that'll bring up the next list. Once you've completed this prime UI setup on one of your tunes, it'll take effect across all of your tunes. So that means that the commands for like beginning ads can then be used across all of your tunes for which you have the prime plugin loaded. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like and subscribe button. For more amazing training and one-on-one -on -one coaching, please click the link to the Locho Endgame Challenge in the description below. This is a special two-day training event where I help players plan out their exact strategy for reaching their goals in endgame rating. Whether you've just Valor a tune or are returning to the game after some time, this challenge will show you exactly what you need to do to gear up quickly, find a great rating group, and have loads of fun racing through endgame content. Thanks for watching.